Check this out. Bottle caps. Who does not have bottle caps? And I'm going to show you alternatives. This is 34 pages. They are going to love this. A little introduction. So they are going to help to use three different colors and cover the caterpillars. So that's where these things come in. The squeezy pouch, food pouch, things that I save all the time. Yeah, they come in handy a lot. I have tons of them. There's another container. There's more in the closet. And if you don't have either of those or these or the bottle caps, you can use these colored counters. You can use construction paper, make your own, laminate them if you wish. Okay. But let me show you the activities that, that comes with this. This challenges their high order thinking, cap counting, the turn frames, comparing caps. And so you can use this for a for an assessment. Comparing caps, fewer and less than, addition, subtraction, multiplication, place value, problem solving this challenges their high order thinking a lot. Fractions, art. We're going to make a picture, graphing, plotting, and we're going to write all about it, how to make a mural, divergent thinking, how many bottle caps can be used for a bowl of water for a hamster, that. 34 pages of awesomeness. Now y'all see, well y'all will see, why I'm a junkie. Good morning. Been up, up for a while now, but I just thought I would pick up the camera and show you what I'm doing. I, I have a problem. Yeah, I have a problem. They say that first step is to admit the problem. Yeah. I'm a junkie. Let me show you where I'm at. This is what I'm doing. I've been sitting here for a while this morning. Me and my purple cow. Yeah. Best goodwill purchase ever. I don't know why I still have this stick on here, but every time I clean it, it comes up. It was 99 cents. <laughs> anyway, let me show you where I'm at in life. My my problem. My addiction. Let me show you this. See? This is where I'm at. Honestly, I haven't been here. I came here yesterday. I haven't been here in the past couple of days, but I'm here. I've been here for hours. I can't get away. It's just so awesome. The resources that I'm finding, I just can't stop. So I just found this awesome spring packet I'm excited to use. Yeah, look at there. You know the worst part of my problem is right now? I don't have any paper. 
It's a sad day. It's a sad day. I don't have any paper. So I can't print anything. I have my colored paper. I don't have any white paper. And that almost never happens. Because I keep secret stashes. Somebody has found me out, y'all. They found me out. I think they took my paper on purpose. They don't want to be enablers. I guess that's a good thing, but I cannot stay away. So yeah, this thing is awesome. It has all kinds of little things, so I'm going to put this together for a center. Math and literacy and what does this say? Kindergarten, first grade. But there are some concepts in here that um, ABC order and things like that. It just looks like fun. Even for the little ones or for the older two, it'll be a a um, a review. They would love to do this. And she gives instructions. Are they give instructions for what to do? A, B, C order, you eliminate the word. So this, like I said, this would be awesome. It's cute. See that? And then they write the little words. So I'll eliminate that and I'll put it on, uh, give them a dry erase marker. And this will go in a center. And, yeah, I think I'm going to hold it until spring or maybe a rainy day I think it would be cute for a rainy day even though it has flowers and things like that but it's it's cute and then there's some math facts which that's what I was looking for I was looking for math facts and games the three year old uh, she is very much into addition and so yeah I'm just gonna let, roll with it and if I can teach it to her now then I don't have to teach it to her later on and then they would stack their addition problems once they solve these they would stack them on the appropriate mat so again I look for things even this is free um, you guys know I'm on the free um, I look for things that have different concepts not just one concept so that everybody can enjoy because this is you know it's not this is 40 pages it's a lot of ink. It's not really a lot of ink to me. It won't do anything because I have tons of ink. But, um, yeah, it wouldn't be worth it to me for me to laminate all this if it was just a, I don't know, a couple pages and it didn't really, you know, throw away type game or material. So then they're going to write some power facts. The rainy day writing. So that's why I say a rainy day on my rainy day so they'll do a little writing prompt right there signs of spring the five senses and they're going to again write and it's you know nothing long that's what I like about it. it's really short and it, it won't overwhelm them in the spring I play outside you know a couple words it is warm. So, I like that. And then there's two. I mean, of course, they can... They can write more if they want. But it's enough sheets. But this is really meant to make like a little book. So, or a little poem. So, get them to use some words. And you'll see the words down here. I can feel they're using their senses. <laughs> this is, um, these make sentences once you unscramble them. And so they're going to unscramble them and write them. The loud rain is coming down. So it's five sentences. And they unscramble and they write in there. So it gives them writing practice. So anything like this that I don't have to teach, I'm all for it. 
all for it. And I said, just put this stuff in the center and let them have at it. And this one, word card, letter cards, and they're going to make all kinds of words. I used to love doing this when I was in school. The teacher would give us a word and we would find how many words we can make with that one word. I love doing that activity. You know, Scrabble. And for now, and that's why I said this is for the six-year-olds. This is awesome. They can always use a review on verbs and nouns and things like that. And again, this is cute. It's so cute. And this is the mat where they stack their appropriate words. And then they're going to write them. And that is it. So, yeah, y'all, I got a problem. A serious problem. Look how much stuff I have down. And this is not even the whole list. I'm just showing you this is what's going to come up. I probably have to download. Some of the things, I don't download everything and then keep it. Some of it, I just download it to look at it. Because what happens is it'll go into my, um, I might not need it right now. It'll go into my, um, into my account. So I can come back to it later on in, uh, my TPT. You'll see everything that you've ever downloaded. It'll go into your purchases. Even if it's free, it'll go into your purchases. And you can, like, sometimes I will download something and need it again later on. But I delete it from here. But I can always recall it. So that's the thing I like about this. Because I don't have to keep everything. Um, I don't have to keep all these downloads on my computer. And yeah, you guys know I'm all about the free free. That's my favorite button on here. Free. Okay. There's so much you can do with these things. And so... I'm just trying to see. Um, this is really it's 29 pages. Wow, that's pretty big. Let me get the coins cranked back to back. Oh, there's a lot of things that can be done with this. I have to look at it because it's so big. It's the third grade, it says. Well, I'm going to get off here, though. Time, well, they have time their money. I'm just so, uh, I don't know, they get it, but yeah, those are two things that take the longest. And if I could give it to them in a game, I have, so I need to share with you all updated center games and things like that. And I know I'm already at 10 minutes. I don't know if I will tack that on because it'll be kind of long, but I am going to share very soon. I have a nice little bin so that you can see what I do with these things that I take. So, yeah, I might use this. I don't know. But, um, this is word problems. If you have four pennies and one dime, how many cents do you have? So, yeah, I like things like this because they, they seem to get it like this. Is a key. Yes, y'all. Now, 
don't go out telling people I have a problem at all. Okay, that's between me and you. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. Don't blame me if you have this problem or you, you become this problem as well. Don't blame me. I didn't tell y'all to get on here. I said I have a problem. Okay. <laughs> Not blame me at all. I'm just, I'm, you know, first step is admitting. So that's what I'm doing. I'm admitting. Mr. Cover, I use her things a lot. A couple times. There's something else right here. Right here. I don't know if I'm going to use all that. Builders. See, I'm telling you, I, yeah. This stuff is just awesome. What is this like scrapper? And I'm not saying there are some things that I will um I'm looking looking at purchasing. I haven't yet because I find so, such good things under here. I know a lot this basically says first one and two but the uh grade three is popping up as well and that's what i mean so it doesn't limit me and then kindergarten as well i need it to kind of cover everybody so i'm going to show you something else i have pulled up we have a math game and the deal is they um they roll the die and then they count that many spaces whatever uh their die says so if it's uh if they roll it two then they just you know this is where they start they count the number of spaces one two okay like a one on each die okay then they solve that problem if they don't solve that problem and they have to go back but if they solve it they get to stay there so, really simple like I said the um, three-year-old is into um, she, she wants to add she wants to subtract so I thought this would be a fun way to just engage her feel like she's playing a big game like the big kids because that's what she wants to do and um, a way for them to help her out so cooperative and it fosters communication so, yeah it's the simple things and I don't know if I'm going to laminate this or not but um, it's cute it's cute so, yeah. so I was looking at um, this and um, addition subtraction bingo so I have some other things that I need to uh, to print off but bingo is a fun one it's always it's really easy to uh, you know incorporate math facts and things like that so that's the reason why I like bingo just give them some little bingo chips and or you can use dotters but um, after they're laminated or even highlighters just give them a regular highlighter that's fun Something we can do together, even if it's just myself and that child for one-on-one. -on -one. I'm their center partner. That's what I like to do. That way, they feel that I'm sitting and I'm engaging with them. So, anywho. But I am going to share um, updated center activities. I cannot say that I will put together a center. I know I did only, I think I shared math and language arts or and that was years ago I didn't share a science center or a geography center and um, yeah but I did share the other two just how I do it and we usually set up for like a week and really fun but these are just daily daily they will either um, do these during break time like in, in between subjects 
after um, everything's finished or if I feel that somebody is just needing a break from their what they're doing you know struggle we just we don't do the struggle I would just say hey let's put this aside and try this and it works every time go get the green bin because right now that's what the stuff is in green means go it associates good behavior games so they know go get the green bin and um, they have fun they have a lot of fun I will share some clips in that once I share what um, what's in there and not everything comes from Teachers Bay Teachers but um, a lot there are a lot of resources that's why I said I'm gonna share what I use these things for so I might be an addict but it's a good thing y'all it's a good thing just don't tell nobody don't tell anybody that is between me and you not tell anybody okay don't tell anybody y'all I'm telling you in secret I'm a TPT junkie a junkie okay I limit myself to an hour but I'm a junkie I find so much good stuff on here I just have to share with you all the awesomeness all you need is a printer and some paper and like I said the bad part it is today I'm out of paper okay I'm out of paper I have no white paper the struggle is real this morning so yeah you know where I'm going no I'm waiting on paper it should be here in a little bit but yeah when you need stuff you need stuff y'all know I'm a free junkie okay I'm addicted there's so much stuff you can find on here good stuff good good stuff but don't tell nobody I'm not an enabler if you end up over here I didn't do it I'm just sharing my problem so that you all can help me cuz I need help <laughs> if I can sit here and do this yeah I'm gonna go ahead and justify it'll keep me out the stores okay keep me from going to buy things all these fancy games out here so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and justify throw this in the green bin here go play you know go go get the green bin and, and play some games it keeps my shelves clutter free because from having to store all of those fancy games in those boxes okay we have a lot of them already but um i've become a junkie just to keep this room from being overrun with even more to where the point we need a storage room and we won't have anywhere to work because sometimes that's what i'm feeling like even though we use all our things I feel like the room is so full of items so yeah I needed to become more of a free junkie okay I don't mind using that at all it comes in handy every day plenty of ink on stock but um yeah like I said don't tell nobody now let me get on with what you all came here for like I said I'm gonna read these comments I don't want nobody coming back to me saying you you, you got me hooked I didn't do it and I don't want to hear anything out there in these homeschool streets saying Guess what so and so is? Shh. 
Don't tell anybody. Just watch. Leave me a comment on what things that you see, that you like, that you don't like. I don't know. Leave me some words of encouragement. Help me limit myself even further. You know it's hard. It's very hard when you have four little kids that need things. Need to learn. Constantly feed their mind. Yeah. I'm not blaming them, but I'm a junkie. Yeah.